He said, I'm married to the bozo. <laughs> if anybody would know that he's not a Freemason, it would be me. Said, but how do you know? Do you know that Freemasons are under oath? They can't even tell their wives or their relatives. They can't tell anybody. And she, and he swore, and he, and he started going in the congregation, and before you know it, there was a group in the congregation, and they were convinced, they, it, in, in four years, they never heard me say anything in favor of Freemasonry, but they were convinced, it just took one bad report. It just took one bad report. So we need to achieve unity, and strive for unity, and then guard the unity, and you cannot do that by being a free thinker. Free thinking is great in the, art, in the art of the Renaissance. Free thinking is great when it comes to analyzing the paintings of Dali and Picasso and to be a connoisseur of cuisine. That's, free thinking is great. But the kingdom of Yahweh is paralyzed by free thinking. Either Yahweh is the head of the synagogue and the people that Yahweh has appointed here from Yahweh, or you all need to close up and find somewhere where the teachers and the leaders have the ability to hear from Yahweh. You shouldn't sit in a place where Yahweh is not the head for five seconds. You need to determine, first of all, is Yahweh the head of this Kehillah, of any Kehillah that I go to? If I was convinced in my heart of hearts, that Yahweh was not the head of an Yeshua synagogue? <clears throat> I'd just stay home and make my money on the internet. I ain't no problem doing that. Have roll, ship books and boxes, make thousands of dollars. No problem. I've got to be convinced Yeshua is directing me. I have to be convinced of that. But as convinced of that as I am, you also have to have that trust. I'm not asking you to enter into a relationship with me and with this congregation. Uh, like that uh, that fellow Jeffs, what is his name, Warren Jeffs, out in Utah and Arizona, you know, the polygamist. I'm not asking you to just, you know, join some kind of a cult. Search the scriptures. Check the scriptures. But if you're not sure of something, you must hold your tongue or leave. You cannot openly recruit others against the leadership and what's being commonly taught. You okay, kiddo? Oh, okay. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. You follow me? So I had people said to me, and I had people leave this congregation before, and if I were to mention their names, which I'm very tempted to do, but I'm going to be a good boy today, and I'm not going to mention any names. They would say, well, look, what kind of a place is this? What kind of, what, what kind of an assembly is this? What kind of a setup is, is this guy running? Does it sound familiar? Anytime you voice your opinion, you got a problem. Anytime you, you, you suggest something that's counter to what the synagogue teaches or what Rabbi Moshe says, right away there's a problem and you're on somebody's hit list and you're probably going to be asked to leave. Sound familiar? Sound familiar? In other words, he doesn't allow different points of view. Or this congregation doesn't allow different points of view. Brothers and sisters, you cannot guard unity. You cannot fight for unity, purpose unity, and then guard the unity once it's achieved by lending your ears, listen, to opinionated people. We all have opinions. I, I have opinions of myself. You have opinions of yourself. We have opinions of each other, don't we? But you should not be listening to and lending your ear to the opinions of others. You should know in your heart that Yeshua is the head of B'nai Yeshua Synagogue. That Rabbi Moshe, by the grace of Yahweh, hears from Yeshua, Baruch Hashem Yahweh, and then submit yourself to divine government, to divine order. And when you see things that you don't agree with, you've got two choices. You've got a choice to, to be submissive and to, and to support what's being said and what's being shared and what's being taught and the way the ministry is being conducted or leave. But you don't have a right. You don't have a right to be a free thinker. See, that's so contrary to the way we've been taught. 
free thinking is good for those who are in, in, a, in a French Revolution mindset. Free thinking is good in an American Revolution mindset. We're building a country, we're free thinker, democracy, the rule of the people, the rule of law, the freedom of speech, the freedom of religion, the freedom of, uh, of worship. That's where your freedom, you are free to choose this kind of worship versus church worship. Yes. You are free to choose this kind of, of teaching, Torah, versus other kinds of teachings, right. Islam, and uh, in the, in much of the church with the Torah, unfortunately, is ignored. You are free, absolutely. You're free in Yeshua. Where the spirit of Yahweh is, there is liberty. But your liberty ends when you come in the door. My liberty ends. I can't do what I want in this congregation. Do you really think I can do what I want to do in this congregation? I better not say anything because I'm going to get in trouble now. I can't just do anything I want in this, with, with, with and to the people in this congregation. I'm under the constraints of Torah. I can't just abuse people without being accountable to Yahweh and be, be spiritual abu spiritually abusive, as many pastors can be. Because Yahweh will remove his glory from me and his calling and his anointing. So I can't just do what I want. In other words, we are subject to what we teach and what we believe. So let's, let's, let's go back two steps before we go forward. Progress is determined by unity as a joint compound. Unity will start here, not here. Unity starts here in the heart of each and every member. Once you determine that you will be united with the vision and the teaching and the doctrine, you lose your right to frank, think freely and your liberty to express dissent, the kind of dissent that causes people to listen to your opinion. Now, you're free to leave. You're free to come. That's why it's not a cult. You follow me? Amen, amen. You're free to leave. You're even free to talk. You're even free to talk about anybody you want, gossip, lashon hara, slander, uh, all the parts of the Islamic beast system that you don't agree with, all the parts of the, the way the liturgy is done, the way the service is conducted. You, you, have, you have the right to, to, to be against it and speak against it and not be in agreement with it, but you don't have the right to do that while you're plugged in here. You can talk about my wife anywhere you want. I can't stop you. And I'll be darned if you do it if you're a member of this congregation. That's why people don't like that emotion. Because I actually shepherd. I work to shepherd people. When people come in here and they tithe $1,000 a week, and they're going to teach the sheep of Yahweh that Yeshua is not Yahweh, they'll be asked to leave. I had one family, and Tehillah knows the family very well. I'm not making this stuff up. The guy's a multimillionaire. And he would write me a check every week for $1,000. But he started going around telling everybody that Yeshua is not Yahweh, he's a created being, blah, 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 blah. I called him, I said, you have to leave. I sent him a letter, I said, no. I said, you can't, you can't teach that here. I'm not for sale. This prophet is not for hire. You got the wrong guy. Oh, I don't mind marketing. I don't mind using my business skills, I have skills. But my number one job is to guard the flock of Yahweh and to shepherd the flock of Yahweh that he's put in my care. You are not free to voice your opinion here if it is something that the leadership does not acquiesce to. You're not free. You're not free to be a free thinker. Once you say, I am with you, there's your freedom at. I came here to be with you. I came here to lift up your hands. I came here to support you. That means you, you came not to be argumentative, you came not to be divisive, you came not to voice your opinion, because the truth of the matter is, nobody cares what you think, and the truth of the matter is, nobody, nobody should care what, what Moshe Konachowski thinks. <laughs> if I can't show it to you from Corinthia Aleph, and, and from Yohanan, and from uh, Yohanan Moshe, who cares what Moshe thinks? It's got to be in the Word. 
correct? 